Skyhawk Sports Network here with head of women's basketball coach Orlando Griego following his team's 72-69 loss to Black Hills State in the season opener. A coach, hell, hell of a ball game, just to get your initial thoughts on, on that. I know a tough way to lose it at the buzzer. Yeah, a tough way to lose. I mean, credit to them. They, you know, they, they hit a shot when they needed to, and they won the game. Um, I'm, proud of my, I'm proud of my team. I, you know, we, we came off of a 14-day quarantine, and um, for that type of effort to, to be displayed, I mean, that shows a lot of, you know, that shows me that we have a lot of toughness. Um, we can compete with a really good team, and uh, we can put ourselves in a position to, to win a game. Yeah, I mean, if, if you would, I know this has been a, a, a weird year for everyone. It's been 274 days since there's been a home event on Fort Lewis's campus, even though it's not the result you want. Just how good was it to be inside Wayland and play on your campus, playing in an actual collegiate event? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's nice, you know, credit to, you know, our, our athletic director and our president, you know, giving us the opportunity to, to really be able to compete and display our talents and uh, represent Fort Lewis College. Um, you know, and for our team, I mean, we've, we've been working really hard and, you know, to give them this experience to, to get back and compete, it's, it's a really good feeling. Good feeling for our coaches as well. All right, Coach, re really tight ball game in the first half. Black Hills takes a four-point lead into the, into, the, into the halftime locker room. And then kind of from your perspective, what happened in that third quarter where they outscored you 25-16 and, and built that 17-point lead? Yeah, they, they, went, they went into a zone. Um, they went into a zone and, and we weren't, you know, we, we were rushing our shots, we, were, we had a lot of turnovers, um, you know, we weren't getting really good looks at the basket, um, or if we were, we were, you know, we were missing, you know, easy shots, um, you know, and that dug us a hole a little bit, you know, but, um, you know, our girls stuck with it, which I was really happy about. Yeah, the comeback effort to chip away, chip away, kind of led by Jordan Vasquez, who finishes with 23, I think she had 11 in the fourth quarter alone. Yep. Um, what kind of started opening up for the for the sophomore in that fourth quarter? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for us was um, challenging our girls to offensive rebound. You know, we went into halftime with zero offensive rebounds and we finished the game with eight. You know, we needed to get back to just showing our toughness and, and really crashing the boards and, you know, getting those opportunities to, to get those putbacks. And, and we told our girls, you know, we need to be fundamental. We need to keep the ball, you know, keep things simple. Um, and for Jordan, she just, you know, she, she kind of got back to, you know, that feel of just getting down there and, and really grinding it out and being tough, and um, she did a really good job for us. Some, some big shots, you know, they could have been heroes if the outcome's a little bit different. Sydney Candelaria hits a shot that ties at 66-66, and then, you know, newcomer Allison Chantala hits the three, 69-69 yep. uh, to tie the game. Uh, so, some big shots from your guards as well. One we saw with Sydney that she's used to the big shot, and then for Allison to, to play an important role in her first game, what, what you saw there from your guards. Yeah, I thought it was great. I, you know, Sydney wasn't having the best night shooting, but you know, we, we pulled her out and we told her that she's going to come in big and she's going to come in you know, clutch for us at some point in this game. And you know, we have a lot of trust in all of our players. And you know, she was in a position to shoot the ball. They found her and she hit a shot. And same thing with, with Allison. You know, we were pushing the ball. We found an extra play, uh, you know, an extra pass, and she was in the corner, and she knocked that shot down. And um, you know, they, they did a really good job. You know, with with their confidence and, and shooting the ball. Take me through those uh, last couple of 90 seconds. Had a couple of looks to go ahead, and then the offensive rebound that gave Black Hills one more chance. Uh, you know, for that shot that ended up being the difference from. Um, number 14, Allison Martinez. Yeah, you know, I thought I thought Allison had a good look at the basket. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy that she took the shot. Um, she, she had a good shot. She had a good opening. Um, she hit the shot right before that. And so, you know, she felt like she, she could hit that shot and credit to her for taking it. You know, I like that. Um, unfortunately, you know, they came down. You know, I felt like we did a really good job stopping them. But we, um, we gave them an offensive rebound. You know, and then they had they had another possession. Um, they shot it again, and, and um, you know they got another offensive rebound. They called a timeout. Um, you know, and they pushed the ball, or you know they're they're wait, they're wasting the clock a little bit, and then they started going into their into their um, to their offense, and you know they moved the ball well, and they got a good shot, and she hit the shot. So credit to them. You know, one of the things you said, uh, giving up ten offensive rebounds, and missing eight free throws, those are kind of killer stats, especially when it comes down to one possession. Just a, a little first game things to clean up. Just was it kind of those things that you saw tonight? Um, yes and no. I mean, yes. I mean, is there things that we need to clean up? Absolutely, for our first game. You know, it's the first time that we're able to compete against somebody else other than ourselves. First time having officials out there, and so that's really important for us to you know get a rotation, get get a sense of you know our defense and what we need to do. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, you know, looking forward, I, I, you know, I'm really happy with our team's effort. I'm really, I'm really happy with our girls. You know, in the locker room, I told them that you know they should be really proud of themselves for coming off of a quarantine and, and displaying that type of effort of coming back and having that grit and that toughness. And you know, it speaks volumes on, on their character of not, never giving up. So I was really happy with that. Up next will be Western on Tuesday. Chance to get right back at it. Uh, you know, what are you anticipating with the Mountaineers who? Uh, yeah played at Black Hills last night. Yeah, they're tough. I mean, they're really good. They, they have a really good point guard. Uh, she was a former freshman of the year. She, she, she had 30-something points um, against Black Hills. She was tough. Um, they play really tough. They're physical. Uh, they got good length. They got good shooters. You know, they're predicted to be second in our conference. So we're going to have our hands full, and uh, we're going to go out there and give it our best. All right. Thanks for your time, Coach. Yeah, thank you.